Hi and welcome to High Encoding. I'm your host Mohamed Azam and today we're going to learn how you can use Particles Framework in your Cocoa Studio application. So basically Particles Framework allows you to create uh, stunning effects uh, and it can be any kind of effect. It can be a fire effect, it can be a smoke effect, it can be an explosion effect. It's basically limited to your uh, imagination. Okay. A couple of things, I have added these to fire.png file and fire.pvr file. And if you go to Cocos 2D main page or home page, you can download the Cocos 2D demo project. And these files are part of the particles folder or the images or the resources. And you can just download these two files. Okay. Um, if I run my application right now, let's, uh, let's actually do that. So if I run my application right now, you will see basically a black screen and nothing is going on on the screen. Okay. I think it's going to, uh, yeah, here we go, it's rotated to the uh, landscape mode and there's nothing on the screen as you can see. So we need to add particle system over here. Uh, there are multiple, as I said, multiple particle system. Let's actually first try to use a particle fire and basically you just create a system like this. What I'm doing, CC particle fire, fire equal to CC particle fire. And then you create this particle system. And now I can simply say, and I can simply add this to the layer itself. I can say uh, add child and then that's pretty much it. So now if I run my application, you will notice that the, here we go, the, the particle system is added in, uh, in my application. And you can see the fire effect. It's pretty cool to see this effect. All right. Of course, there are many other things that you can do. Um, simply, you can say the total size, uh, the total particle that will display, you can say, okay, 10 particles are going to display. And you can also say the start size and the end size. So I'm just going to say Start size is uh, 10 and set end size is also 10. You can see now there are 10 particles being just going on and on. And you, it's kind of like a effect, like that's uh, not really a fire effect, but you know, kind of like a red dots just going on the screen. All right. One other thing you can do, and I'm just going to remove this thing because we need to see the fire, right? And I'm just also going to say duration. You can set the duration that how long this effect is going to run. I'm just going to say five seconds. And then I can say uh, set auto complete or auto remove on finish. And you can say yes, auto remove on finish. These are uh, the effects. If you don't remove it, it's just going to completely go on and on, okay? So right now the effect is going on for five seconds and you will see it right now it's done. Uh, after five seconds, the effect is removed from the layer or the node, the CC node is actually removed from the layer. Okay. Let's check out some other particle effects. Uh, let me, let me show you a sun particle effect, which is pretty cool if you're making kind of like an arcade style game. CC. Uh, particle sun okay one of the other things what I'm trying to do I'm going to do is that since they inherit uh, from the CC node object we have we can use actions on it all right so which means uh, they can actually move just like sprites CC move to and then We'll say that 2.0 seconds and then CCP is going to go to uh, 300 comma 300. This is a very cool effect. You can see here because it's like a missile launch to a certain place and then it just hangs around over there. So at this point you can use that duration or you can use it auto remove on finish thing and just remove it from the screen. Okay. There are some effects that just just uh, trigger once and then they are finished, okay? So, and these effects are particle, let's just say particle explosion. 
I'm just going to call everything uh, particle fire for right now. But particle explosion basically allows you to um, to form a kind of like an explosion effect, and you will see. And here we go. So it's kind of like an explosion effect that is going on, and this is particle explosion. Okay. As you saw in the previous particle explosion effect, the colors, like when the particle were exploded it were of, of uh, different colors, you can always set the texture that you want, okay? And I think it's called CC Texture uh, Cache and Share Texture Cache. And you can always tell uh, the particle framework that what image you want to use for your particle effect. In this case, we're just going to use a smiley.png file which is just a smiley, a red smiley face. So now you will see all the smileys just popping out. Okay. Now I have used the same effect in my game ABC Pop, which is available for free. So if you do want to check it out, the effects, you can download ABC Pop. There is also other game, which is uh, Pop the Color, ABC Pop, one, two, three, Pop Kids. All of these things, all of these uh, games are, have used uh, extensive amount of the particle framework. Also, I'd like to point out, if I just go to that website, if you do want to read articles related to uh, the you know, iPhone development, go to High on Coding and click on the mobile development. You'll see tons and tons of articles over here. If you are trying to build a game, I would strongly suggest that you check out this uh, Space Demon, and it, it has multiple parts. You can see this Space Demon game, and in the background, in the background, we are using uh, a particle effect. Okay, and here I think if you can see, this is also a particle effect going on. It's like a fire, you know, it's like a fireball thrown at our uh, at our spaceship. So that's pretty much it. I hope you liked this video, and thank you very much. Stay tuned for more.